Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Happy Friday. So I want to come on here because we have some breaking news on Twitter, honey. So if you guys do not know, James Charles is currently trending all over Twitter. And he's trending because, once again, he's being accused of grooming. Now, if you guys remember a few months ago, back in July, I did a live stream. There was a 14-year-old, then turned 15-year-old. His name was Ethan Andrew. And he came out and he basically said that James Charles had sent him nudes and was trying to groom him. And, you know, for the most part, his sisters, you know, sisters, <laughs> they dismissed the kid and said that, oh, he's reaching. He's trying to trap, you know, James Charles. He's looking for clout. And a lot of people ignored his story, trolled him. And I don't know what's happened to this kid since. But now on social media, there's another kid. Now, this guy is 16 years old and he just posted a TikTok video and it's going viral all over social media. And he's basically saying that James Charles um, is basically trying to groom him and send him nudes and everything else. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. It's a trigger warning. I will be talking about grooming and James Charles. So if you get triggered by any of those, keep scrolling. But if not, watch this video, please. So last Wednesday on the 17th, uh, James Charles snapped me on Snapchat. He added me back because I had snapped him a while ago, just like a fan to influencer conversation. I was excited because he's my biggest influence, influencer wise, and he I've always looked up to him. So I was excited to get his message back. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to post proof of it right now. This is the notification that I got when he Snapchatted me first. And just for further proof, he deleted the chat. I don't know what he deleted, but that's me opening his Snapchat. I went into the bathroom and I guess he saw the bathroom light. So he started making the conversation very sexual and it made me really uncomfortable. And I'll post some of the stuff that he sent me now. You can't see it because it's blurry because I took it on my iPad because I don't want him to see that I screenshotted it, but I'll post it right now. He proceeded to send me explicit pictures of his body. More. So this is part two of the James Charles story. So after sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly, he sent me multiple after that, and I'll post them now. I was getting really uncomfortable, so I told him my age. I told him I'm 16. Meanwhile, he's 21. He's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh, but I didn't even get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. And after telling him, like, no, like, I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. He proceeded to ask to FaceTime me, which I then said no to, and then I asked why. And this is what he said. It's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never believe it until it happens to you. So now, I'm a big believer of what James Charles does to other people, and it sucks because he has so much going for him, and he does this to himself. All I ask from TikTok is to try to boost this video as much. All right, so you guys just saw that disturbing video. So the kid in that video, his name is Isaiah on um, Twitter. So that is who recorded it. And this kid actually had receipts. That's the part that's more disturbing. That is definitely James Charles. That's his nude body. And allegedly, it's in a 16-year-old's phone when he's 21 years old. So, of course, James Charles ran to try to clean this up. And he did go to address this. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what James Charles wrote. He says, TW, grooming and pedophilia. He says, there's a video going around about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me a groomer, and I want to address it right away. The accusations that I have groomed this person is completely false. Last week, I came across someone on my Instagram Explorer page and saw that he followed me, and I added him on Snapchat. The next morning, I woke up to several snaps from this person being excited. I added him back, saying that he loved me and all and also lewd photos of himself in the shower. I asked how old he was right away, and he told me he was 18, so I started flirting back. In the excitement of meeting someone I thought could be a potential great, I didn't ask for a copy of his ID or passport. It's now clear, based on the video he uploaded, he was taking pictures of me with another device and had ulterior motives from the beginning. Later in the day, he said a few things that made me question the validity of his original age answer, and when I asked him to confirm his age once again, 
He admitted that he was 16. I told him I was really uncomfortable and apologized for flirting, but he insisted and continued talking and saying it would be our and saying it could be our little secret. He's a fan of mine and would never tell anyone. I told him I wasn't okay with this. He started getting upset and at this point I unfriended him. We haven't spoken since. I'm not victim blaming him or victimizing myself either. Simply sharing what happened and what happened was not okay. After false allegations like this in the past, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage and put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. Because of situations like this, instead of taking somebody's word for it, I am... I now will ask to see ID or passport of every guy I have a conversation with. So that is James Charles' response to the grooming allegations. And to me, there's a few holes in his story. First of all, James Charles, you are a mega star influencer. You have a huge following. A lot of young people follow you. I'm confused why you're always caught up in some type of grooming scandal. This, this is not the first young person that's come out. And what I don't understand is when you're as big as you are, after the very first grooming scandal, you should have learned from that when people gave you a pass and made sure anybody who slid into your DMs, anybody you reached out to, showed you a photo ID or a passport. And the fact that you keep allowing this to happen now makes me give you the side eye that maybe you're hoping that they're not 21. Maybe you want them kind of young and that's why you're not holding them to task and forcing them to show you photo ID. And my thing is, if this is somebody that you're just meeting, you just happened to see him on, you know, Instagram, you thought he was cute, and you added him on Snap. Y'all didn't know each other that long. So why would you be so quick to send somebody that you don't know your nudes? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't care if this kid is 16 or 61. You don't send somebody your nudes within the span of not even a few days. You don't know him. And so for you to be that comfortable sending him nudes says a lot. And for this kid to be that comfortable sending James Charles nudes right off the rip, that's a red flag to me. That makes me feel like this kid and other kids on social media and TikTok have heard about James Charles's ways. And they've heard that to, in order to get his attention or keep his attention, you got to send him nudes like this. Because I don't see a 16-year-old kid just sending nudes off to an to a influencer just right off the rip. I don't know. That just seems suspect to me. It seems like he would be comfortable doing that if he knows that that's how you get down anyways. You know, like I said, I'm not one to accuse anybody of anything. But like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I said this months ago when folks were going off on the last kid that came out, you know, like James Charles, you need to hang around people your age. You need to stop getting caught around with minors. All your friends need to be 21 and up. You're not in high school anymore. I understand you. You came out of high school. You got famous in high school, but you're 21 now and you need to act accordingly because the laws are serious when it comes to child predators, grooming. We are living in the Me Too era, the Time's Up era. And unless you want to be a part of that movement, I suggest you just beat your face and call yourself beating 21 year olds and stop trolling for underage peen because it's starting you know I'm, I'm starting to give you the side eye brother this has happened way too many times and every time you have an excuse and if you're not learning from the first time when it was an alleged setup how is it that this is happening again and you're still not asking folks for photo id to make sure that they're of age so I find this whole situation suspect now I don't put anything past anybody because as you guys know I was a huge when I tell you a huge fan of Jerry from Cheer, okay? Cheer was my show. And y'all know how heartbroken I was when they came out that he too was grooming young male cheerleaders and now he's looking at time in prison and he admitted to everything. So all this, oh, he would never, he's famous, he's an influencer, he can get anybody he wants. That's what folks thought about Jerry and now Jerry's looking at 20 years in damn prison. So I don't push shit past nobody, not even James Charles, honey. But anyways, honey, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on everything that's going on right now with James Charles. Right now, Twitter is in shambles. Of course, his fans are taking up for him, but other folks are really calling him out because he's not denying the allegations. And at the end of the day, that was him in those pictures. And if this kid, if it proves that this kid is 16, you sent nudes to a 16-year-old. So I don't know how this is going to play out, but this is really disturbing. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. Last but not least, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.